Number 35. A store sells bananas for $1.25 per pound and apples for $2.36 per pound. Susan buys 3 pounds of bananas and 1.5 pounds of apples. What is the total cost of this purchase? Now, let's first find the cost of bananas. The store sells bananas for $1.25 per pound and she buys three pounds of bananas. Let's pay attention to the units. Notice that the unit pounds will cancel and we'll get the total cost for the bananas in dollars. Now for apples, we're gonna do the same thing. The store sells apples for $2.36 per pound and Susan buys 1.5 pounds of apples. So let's do long multiplication. Here we're going to multiply a decimal number by a whole number. So we have 1.25 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15, carry over the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, that's 7. 1 times 3 is 3. Notice that we have two numbers to the right of the decimal. So we're going to have two numbers to the right of the decimal at the end, so it's going to be 3.75. So that's going to be the cost of the three pounds of bananas, $3.75. Now let's find the cost for the apples. So we're going to multiply 2.36 by 1.5. 6 times 5 is 30, so we'll write the 0, carry the 3. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 3, that's 18. So we'll write the 8, carry over the 1. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1, that's 11. I'm going to use a different color now. Now for the next level, we're going to add a 0. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. So now we're going to add. 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 8 is 14, we'll write the 4, carry over the 1, 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, where to put the decimal point? Here, notice that we have two numbers to the right of this decimal point, and here we have one number to the right. So we have a total of three numbers to the right of those two decimal points. So we need to put it here, so that we have three numbers to the right of those decimal points. So we have 3.540. So this is going to be $3.54. So that's the cost of the one and a, the one and a half pounds of apples. To find the total cost of this purchase, we need to add these two numbers. So let's add 375 and 354. 5 plus 4 is 9. 7 plus 5 is 12. We'll write the 2, carry over the 1. For decimal addition and subtraction, you simply need to line up the decimals. For multiplication, that's where you have to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal and make sure that your final answer is the same. But for decimal addition, just make sure that the decimals are lined up and you'll be okay. Now, 1 plus 3 plus 3, that's going to be 7. So the total cost of this purchase is $7.29.